guys, it's Stephanie here from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Today's tutorial might be the largest project I've attempted to date. you guys welcome back to another tutorial I'm nervous as can be we are going to attempt to put a top on on this this is a wine barrel not a whiskey barrel Maggie May my business partner a partner in crime Amazon shipped me <laughs> true story a wine barrel and the goal is to create a topper for said barrel I have an idea and I think our secret sauce it's gonna be a bowl. Is it gonna work? We'll find out. All right, guys. So, what I think I'm gonna do, this is my plan. We'll see if this works, and if it doesn't, um, it'll be the longest tutorial known to man, and we'll do a take two, because I have another idea if this doesn't work, but I think this might work a little bit better than my other plan. Um, maybe we'll discuss the other plan later. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a grid on this bowl. I got this bowl at the thrift store. Um, you could go with a glass bowl if you wanted to. Um, I went with something that was, if it fell, wouldn't shatter, but you know. You could also use chicken wire in here to make your grid technique if you want. I didn't feel like messing around with chicken wire today, so I'm using my vinyl tape and I'm gonna create a grid that way. You could also use green tape or um, clear tape instead of the green stuff, but the whole plan is you won't even know there's a bowl underneath once we get done. So um, I'm not too worried about the green showing through. It'll be fine. Now, now we are going to add 500 tons of greenery. Hopefully not that much, but a lot. I, I anticipate a lot. So I'll show you what we're gonna do first to kind of lay down our base. Say hello to Ficus. Ficus is going to be our um, other secret sauce to start this. Okay, so this Ficus looks like it's really long, but it's just sitting in a really big, tall base. So it's got foam in. So we're gonna put that down. I don't know how much ficus we're gonna need, but I will suggest if you're gonna do one of these big pieces, start with a lower priced, economical um, type greenery that isn't gonna be the star of the show, but is going to create the base you need. Similar to what we've done with arches in the past. And I will link that video as well so that you have it. But what I'm gonna do is with these pieces of ficus, it's like three, do you see that? Three like arms. So clip, clip, clip. Actually, I only need to clip two of them. And we'll keep one there and clip it as much as we want. And we're gonna use this to start filling in our spaces. You could even, on this long one, clip right there in the middle and get another couple pieces. Think of this as like a more, uh, like a, a moss almost. Like sometimes we put the moss down on our pieces to cover, but this is, this is going to, um, help cover everything. I'm gonna use some longer stems and like scoot them, do you see what I'm doing here? Scoot it all the way through so it has a little bit more stability to it, but it also then is going to kinda of go over, over our bowl. So, I'm gonna crank up tunes in just a minute. We'll speed this all up and we're just going to go to town, so to speak, adding in all of our ficus until we've got a good base created. And then while I'm doing this, I'm thinking in my head, what are the other pieces of greenery I wanna use? Cause I, I haven't even gotten that far. I'm more just overwhelmed with the project in general. I should probably start thinking colors, huh? Yeah, I'll do that. We'll speed this up and we'll come back in, in just a few minutes.
don't know if you can tell, but I'm now surrounded by greenery. So I think the main focal flower I'm gonna have to fill in some of that space is gonna be our hydrangeas. That might change as we build this, I'm not sure. Uh, for some of the filler, I can't remember the name of this, um, but it's nice and tall and long. Um, I really want, so we've got it pretty covered here, but I want a real tall piece, but I don't want a big dome. I actually wanna do more of a modern kind of vibe to it. So have some stuff off to one side, maybe trailing on the other or trailing all over, but something that's like a focal high point. These are gonna do great for that. We also have some spring billy balls. These are in like a, a creamy minty green almost color. Um, I do have some faux eucalyptus, a seeded eucalyptus that'll go well with this color story. Um, then I have some of the wide ruscus that is a hanging one. I believe this is out of stock right now, but should be coming back soon. This will be great to kind of pool at the bottom. I also have this boxwood. I can't remember this, guys. I forget things really, really quickly. But this also is a hanging one, also in that color tone, so that's gonna go well with this ficus. And then we've got a whole bunch of preserved and dried. So these are the, oh, it's a type of grass. I'm so good at this stuff. But these are painted white, um, so we're gonna add a little bit of that for some texture. We've got bleached ruscus over here. We have just a few palms. Um, we do also have this one in here that I spray painted, and it's a really pretty like off pink mauve kind of color. It plays really well with this, so we might, well we will. I think we're gonna put that in there for a little bit of a focal pop of color because we're going really neutral with a lot of the colors. Then we've got some pompous grass as well as, whoops, my favorite. Uh, these are the natural bunny tails. So that's what we've got working on. The bunny tails in the jar stand up real nice and tall, but they're individually, so we'll probably sprinkle those throughout. The pompous grass is really going to have give us some flow. Um, and sturdiness to this. Same with the bleached ruscus that doesn't really move a lot once it's in place, it's in place. So, um, debating, I think I'm gonna start with still filling in some more greenery, especially with that seeded eucalyptus, and then just building and we'll let the music take me where I wanna go. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this has been a project that's been in the making for months. I'll have to look back when Maggie sent me the wine barrel. Um, months, months and months and months, and it's just, it's been one of those projects that has um, terrified me just a little bit, but I had an idea, and I was like, today, today is the day. All right, well, let's see if I can do this.
All right, I'm getting to a spot where I'm, I'm feeling good. This is definitely a piece way out of my comfort zone, but I am gonna add some color now. Originally, I thought I was gonna go all neutral colors, but um, it's definitely starting to take a turn for like, bring in some color. So I've got a pinky kind of, uh, this is a Miss Ivy that's been dyed pink. This was in one of our assortments at one point. Uh, similar color story to the um, dyed or spray painted um, palm that we have. Then I also have some kind of more burgundy. There's some Helens in here and another rose. Uh, we've also got a Charleston that just has a yellow center, but then we also have some Charlestons that are in a purple kind of tone. Again, playing off of this kind of color story that we've got also with the purple in the um, seeded eucalyptus, things like that. And then I have these that have this mauve kind of brownie tone almost at the ends and then a little bit more pink in the middle. Uh, three of those and then just a couple cream flowers and I don't, uh, I'm not sure that we'll add the cream flowers. I think we're just going to add these and if we feel like we need to add a couple more cream flowers in there, we'll do that too. So I'm going to stem these up and then we'll get to putting them into the arrangement. All right, so here are the flowers that I've stemmed up. I also did find these within my stash, which are like a, a faux sedum kind of-ish vibe. Now, this technically doesn't have a front, but I'm considering this more of a focal front. So if it was stand, like in front, like as you're walking down an aisle, for example, or what, what have you, whatever you're using your barrel for. I am gonna make myself a front, but I know that this is a 360 because there's a chance that at any point you'll be spinning around it, I'm not sure. So I am gonna add some flowers to the back, but I am gonna spend, spend most of my time and focus up here in the front. Um, there's one flower in particular, this one, that one right there, I love so much. So I wanna make sure that that gets a front and center kind of vibe, view, look, all that stuff. And now we're just gonna sprinkle in the, that's what that is. We're gonna sprinkle in the flowers. This is so out of my comfort zone, you guys. Nothing like I thought it was gonna turn into. I'm loving it, but definitely not what I had thought this was gonna turn into. So, all right, we're gonna roll with it. Okay, let's see if the sun behaves, because the sun is coming in, so it, I might have to reshoot this. I don't know, we'll see. There, there she is! I did add this right at the end. Um, it's the same color story. I had it, it was there, and I was like, man, there needs to be one little extra thing there. This be wild, but then again, here, remember, we had some hanging stuff, so now you have a little bit of flow there, goes there. There's just a lot going on now. I will say, I do have this not perfectly centered in the barrel. Um, if it was perfectly centered, we'll have a little less of the hanging, um, but then you get a little bit of hanging in the back. Otherwise, you can bump, bump her on up all the way, have a little bit of extra flow going up there. All right, son, I see you. I see you misbehaving over there. I'm about to go blind. Um, so there we go. Not in any way what I expected. Um, the let's we'll bring you on back and we'll talk about um, some of the things that I discovered while we tried this because again never done this went in blind just with an idea and we'll talk about two um, some other ideas that you could try for this type of project that's pretty lovely just as it is look at that the sun's still coming down I'm gonna st I'm gonna talk right here right here in front of this lovely piece um, this does not have to be a wine barrel topper. This could be a massive um, dining room table arrangement. Now, we did use the grid technique with a kind of shallow bowl. I did have one other bowl that I was thinking about, but it was actually, it was more shallow than this one. Um, and it definitely, there was a little bit of issue getting things 
up and all that fun stuff. A couple ideas to alleviate that you could use floral foam. I didn't want to. You could also use chicken wire that's going to have a little bit of a smaller like little holes and grids in there so it might be a little bit um, easier to work with. Again, I just didn't want to play with metal and form something but that would work as well. The other option, um, an idea that I had originally was to grab a either an MDF or a wood circle and either create a dome with chicken wire or to um, glue some floral foam right onto there so that you had a base and then just pop it on the top when you're done making everything. My only thought with that was I felt like it was gonna be taking it up even more greenery to get a good base as well as some height. Um, maybe we'll try this again at another time because that barrel ain't going anywhere unless I turn it into a sink. We've talked about it, I don't think it'll happen. But I can make another one and see if there's another way that's a little bit easier or a little bit harder, what have you. But you could try that as well. Now, the breakdown of greenery. There's a lot of greenery in here. We sped up a lot of this just because it's just going with the flow, going with the motions. We did use, I believe, eight pieces of the ficus. Um, again, start with a lower, more affordable um, greenery that uh, is pretty and I'll peek through, but it's not gonna be your main focal of greenery. So I used a ton of that to build my base, to cover everything and um, start building up. Now I decided not to go with a full dome. I went more like a swooping motion. It's all gonna depend on the style and the vibe that you want. If you want stuff hanging, make sure you get some greenery that has a good flow to it that's gonna hang off the edges, things like that. And then we used a little bit of the bleach bruscus, which is this one right here. I think it was three or four stems of that. We had two of these red stems, one going one way, one going the other. I think there's about five to six pieces of pompous grass in there, three palms, um, not all of the spring billy ball, but a decent amount of that. Um, and probably one full stem or bunch of the seeded eucalyptus. Those were already all cut down, so I don't know for sure, but it was probably close to one full stem. Um, we've got how many hydrangeas? One, two, three, I think four possibly? Three or four hydrangeas in there, a handful of flowers, and a couple other bits and bobs of things within my stash that went with the color story. So there you have it. This was an ambitious one. I gotta listen to some real fun music though, so that was fun. If you guys are loving these tutorials, can't get enough, wanna know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and right here, right here, ring that bell. And to find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies, greenery, and now bridal DIY kits, go to ohyourlovely.com and new around here, wanna try them out, you can get 30% off your first order using the code YouTube30. All right, I think that's it for now. If you have any questions, as always, drop them in the comments. I will answer them as soon as possible if I have an answer, or I'll just tell you, good job, keep at it. Um, I hope some of you guys make some of these. I didn't find a lot of like help on the interwebs of how to pull this all together. So hopefully this is an inspiration for you guys. Uh, and I think another one might be in my future, maybe a different kind of style, maybe less. Like, this is kind of eclectic, even for me. I'm loving it, but it's definitely not my style. So maybe we'll go a little bit more traditional, classic, we'll say, for the next round. Um, let me know if that's something you guys wanna see. Also, if there's any other videos that you're not seeing that you would love to see us and take our take, our take on it, this is the longest outro ever. I'm gonna stop in two seconds. But if there's any other projects that you'd love to see, as always, too, pop those in the comments and we will take a look at them and add them to our upcoming tutorials. All right, guys, this is Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.